Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Europa Universal's free Divine Wind as Great Britain. Now in the last episode we continued our wars in India and um, we finally managed just about to have our troops. Do, do you guys mind? I'm trying to talk. That's better. Now I don't have to hear you. Um, we finally managed to spread our troops out like butter across this subcontinent. Uh, slightly with the help of the Timurids, actually, because I don't think we'd have had enough if that one province also needed to be done. And also with help from the rebels, but uh, my hope is that the rebels will um, leave that place weak and then I can go and take it. I may, I may even run away from them because at the minute with our troops spread out as we are we can't really take on 14,000 but we'll cross that bridge if and when it happens. The Battle of Somewhere, no. Oh. Statesman in Munster, oh that was these other rebels that we were just trying to kill. And they're running away so we'll take the majority of the army and chase them down to Dara, Dadra, Dadra. Now what I'm probably going to do is as they... <laughs> the French are already there dealing with it for me. Uh, what I'm probably going to do with the... They're already offering a peace deal or white peace. No! <laughs> Just no! Um is as some of the sieges do finish, like we've already got one at 88%, I think I'll send them to the ones that are also uh, likely to finish. The idea is snowballing it rather than trying to have them all finish at a similar time. Because I believe everywhere, whether it's for horses, the uh, cavalry, they're not going to be anywhere near progression. All they're really doing is holding the space so that troops don't emerge. Da -da -da. And we've won the battle in Dara, but unfortunately we didn't finish off the rebels. Uh, so we'll chase them down again. I mean, they've got no army, so they should be at the bottom of the list, I guess. Yeah, but look at the manpower. They still have 30 odd thousand manpower. And at the minute, we're stopping that from being able to be played. A revolt in Mecca. <laughs> Please deal with it. Alright, sir, I already have. Ah, and Bangalore. Boom. I don't get why they're not going to the places that I already have control. They're running to where I have troops. And where if they ran to where I didn't have troops but I have control, these units might survive. I'm chasing down again. Uh, also, uh, Two years-ish and we'll have another stability, which will mean uh, we can probably forget about this whole ugly gaining inflation thing. I mean, look at that. Our, our war exhaustion is almost down to the point where we'll be able to places won't defect. Um, I believe that's work. It usually has to be like over um, over 5%. No, no. We're almost at the point where people will defect to us. If your war exhaustion is under 5%, and your, um, ooh, sieges, oh, uh, troops, no, oh, you're not near troops, but you're only cavalry, so, uh, this guy's gonna make his way over to you, and you broke the walls with your hooves, is, is that what I'm led to believe, you've got 63% and you're just cavalry, Actually, I'm fine with you going up there. It means I can do this. Battle of Bangalore has been won. And that should be another siege successful. Uh, Battle of Trisbond has declared its independence. It's nice. Um, but not where I thought. Has it done the usual thing of coming up here? Yeah, it has. Uh, just sort of anywhere that's um, Greek, really, it does. Uh, well, in this area of Greekness. Uh, the Gulf of Somewhere. 
Yeah, they're slowly connected up, but I really did think that you got it in the order that they discovered it. Um, go away. Can't do with hearing that anymore. And which one was it? Oh, that didn't work. Oh, no, wait, wrong one. That's not working. Oh. Holy fail. And I believe that means the walls will be instantly rebuilt. Because I'm no longer sieging it. God! Um, you run away here. A ninth, that's good enough. And you come here. Twelfth, nineteenth, that's also good. I'm hoping that, yes, low garrison because you've already seized it. Sieged it. And then I should be able to let you sit in my home, my little province until I have a 100% war score on these people. And yes, the walls are all nicely fully built again. Gah. Uh, maybe not do the 1,000 man um, siege again. <laughs> Not when that seems to have just worked so much better anyway. Well, you come up and don't help him. That's obviously not going to be the one that falls soon. 75. Yeah, it's nearby. Go here and help that one. We could build. And what would a constable do? Direct tax. I, I'm tempted. <laughs> that was a cost. 52. I'm going to leave it for now. I'd rather build up the reserve of money. Um, but I will send off a colonist that I keep forgetting about. See, so this is one reason why I don't colonize. Uh, because I forget about them too much. Send. I prefer to conquer, and preferably conquer while they're still colonies, and then just top them off, sort of my religion, uh, my religion and my culture, should I say? Oh, Byzantium's. Actually, doing. Sort of reasonable. Obviously, that's Corfu, though. That's separate. I thought that was part of Byzantium. What's up? Look at Naples. And if it wasn't for Spain here, which I had the possibility of getting Spain out of this peninsula, if I had, I believe um, Naples would have done more. I mean, if I don't want to declare war on the Pope, allied with Spain. Spain's keeping that peninsula all, ice, uh, all ununified. <laughs> I thought Syria was taking on Portugal, then I was like, what's going on here? Uh, we have missionaries, and I really should send them, so let's see, it's one of the new map modes, isn't it? Missionary map mode? Yeah, missionary map mode. So you're a place I can send. Good. Your place is where it's active. Ooh, that's expensive. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, well, not too much, because it's not going to take much to... <laughs> you should have seen that one coming. No, 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 no. All right. Twing. So that ended up basically in the exact same place. I wish I could make this box bigger while I'm dealing with it so I could deal with the sliders a bit easier. 
Right, that should leave me with five credits left over, so short of anything else. I just pushed it back from August to September, but short of anything else, we should be fine. Out of curiosity. Um, how's... Well, they're only trying to convert one, but they are... They are doing the job at least, so that's fine. Look at that yellow blob. <laughs> that's all going to be broken up soon. As soon as the reformation hits. I am sort of wondering who it's going to hit. I am quite expecting uh, France and Brittany to end up being a different religion to me. Uh, it's going to make it even harder to reintegrate them. But I only thought about that sort of like now-ish. But... To say it's before the Reformation, and I'm already carving out my place in India. Uh, we have won a siege. And where round that is also doing well. No, you're too far away, you're too far away. You're probably about to fall too soon. Ah, uh, next door. Next door's got a bit of progress towards it, so go help him. You're marching off home now. It's fine, as long as it's not them who've got control of it. When we get a support, we could probably siege it. Let's have a go. 10 to 1 usually does quite well. Good, you're walking into somewhere else where we have troops, so it will have you equal numbered again. Now, you was off there because that was doing well, so you're going to go there as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think the supply limit will fit you though. Five. No, it won't. Already two there, that bigger army is free, so that's fine, you can go like that. And you can help this guy out who has no troops. <laughs> okay, that's a mute point now. You guys help out these ones. I think this is what's going to happen now. Slowly they're all just going to tipple over to us. And unfortunately we're only going to get like a 99% war score. That should still be fine. I mean, we've already got 60. I'm guessing 40 of that for some battles, yeah. So, it's more just waiting until the ones that we want have ticked over. Well, send again, and it's probably not going to do good for the bank balance. No. Gain a little bit of money each um, each month. Let's continue on at least for one year. Twice, I think that would be Zors. We have troops there now, I believe. Derby, not a problem. Yeah, we do. Dealt with straight away. Okay, well I'm not sending any more. Colony was damaged, so we lost it completely. No, it's holding on by the skin of its teeth. <laughs> Is there actually a button just to say, you know, abandon colony? I guess that's just for slider, but I don't want to abandon all, just I wouldn't mind abandoning that one. Anyway, that's a timer. Um, well, you didn't take as much as I thought you would. You've taken all of Bulgaria, but that's not as much as I thought. I mean, are you a vassal now or something? No. I'm surprised at that. <laughs> Ruska's still free. Ragus, even. I wouldn't mind one day playing a um, game as them. <laughs> Just because I always see them die. <laughs> a 
base tax freeze or anything, and fish. Although you are Catholic at least, but you're Eastern. Um, so you, apart from maybe being protected by these Westerners, you're screwed. You still need to um, Westernize. And <laughs> I like how Tyrol's independent from Austria. To be honest, even you still being independent from an Austria this big is a bit hysterical. Or even how the Ottomans are still holding on. We've you have three provinces on each coast. But anyway, I'm the timer is gone and I'm jabbering on. So as always, thank you for watching and goodbye.